What the fuck happened? What just happened? Like, this was absolute ass. This is how you'll actually piss off the majority of the fan base. It makes absolutely no sense what just happened in this show. Um, as someone who absolutely loves the series and have up to this point loved the adaptation uh, for the anime, I cannot explain or understand why the producers... Or the uh, the anime produ- uh, producers did what they did. There is no just justifying it whatsoever, with the exception that we didn't get a third season. That they guaranteed cannot get a th- uh, third season greenlit. And even if that's the case, they could have ended this literally six minutes before the um time skip. This time skip felt so forced and so out of place that it didn't make sense. Like I'm I'm actually reading the uh Reddit right now. Um I don't know if you can really see oh nope you can't see it. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh and it seems like my my beliefs are mirrored. I'm sorry for like not like I'm I'm still in disbelief. I'm like still in disbelief here. Because there was no reason why they did what they did. So at the end we got a time skip. And I was very confused. Cause it shows them graduating and then getting into their college of choice. Which just happened, like, just happened in the manga less than a couple weeks ago. So less than, like, two chapters ago, I believe. And they completely just scrapped that for some odd reason. Like, I understand if you can't get a third season greenlit. That's fine. Maybe it'll get picked up by another studio. I don't know. But don't make a half-ass ending, because God damn. Damn, this was so shoehorned in. And it seems like someone in the top brass was like, no, fuck you, I like I like um Takamoto. I'm gonna make her win. Because Takamoto does not win. There's no way, especially in the manga. Especially how they're handling how they're writing her writing her right now. She she's not she's not gonna win. And you just built up the fact that Furu, Fumino, Fumino, Furuhashi, is one, the creator, like, I think that is his favorite character, and is most likely the one who's going to win the Yuiga Bowl. You make an entire arc where she was the main focus, and... She has been the main focus. I mean, like, even last season, it ended up on her being an ar- her arc. And then this one was, of course, the f- uh, festival arc. But... And then he just kind of, like, wreck on it? And then just push it aside? <sighs> Don't... This isn't canon. This is not canon. No... This this is like a fever dream of someone happening. I don't know. Because even Taka... Like, I, I, I can't justify this ending whatsoever. It, it, it was so bad. Like, I, like I, I love this show. This is the first time I think I can legitimately say 
where the ending is spoiling my enjoyment for the entirety of both seasons. And I'm just honestly going to try to prevent it, per, like, try to, in my mind, just say that it didn't exist. Like, I'm just disappointed. I'm not frustrated, I'm just disappointed. Because that this is not how you should have ended the show. This is not how you should have ended the show. And I really hope that the producers get flack, get reasonable flack for this. We should praise them for doing a fantastic job at adapting. Which, which blows my mind because they were adapting it so religiously and so faithfully. And then they pull this shit. Without an explanation, like I, if like they actually posted an explanation on one of their on Twitter or something, let me know. But they should not have done that. They should they should have done an OVA at the very least. Not this. I, d I don't. Takamoto didn't deserve. If you've read the series, she doesn't deserve. This, um. And the fact that this series is about we never learn or we uh, or we never learn or studying, they just completely skip over the fact that there was a huge arc of them just studying, all of them studying, and then yes, them getting screen time, all the all the individual girls getting screen time with Chad Yuki, and them studying and having antics, but it was still them studying. It was an entire arc of them studying just to get in graduation, and they just skip over all that. Not only that, they skip over the best parts of the entire series, which was them having their own unique arts with Asami getting an arc with fucking Sensei, which they just teased upon in the second season which i thought they which was going to be proof that we were getting the third season at the very least of sensei with um her and her time during figure skating or asmi with her um her her life outside of the whole cafe with her being in the clinic um takamoto coming to terms that she's basically going to be gone and like not going to be part of their lives really for the most part until she ever comes back um rizu and her actual full-on transformation she fully like she completely changes the way she looks and i like it and she comes to terms with like hey i'm no longer the person i used to be a couple about a year ago and then fumino she doesn't really get much change but she gets more just development in, in general and we're not going to see any of that it seems like because they just seem like they just threw threw everything up <sighs> it's just so disheartening to see a series that I thoroughly love. Just get bastardized like this. To quote a very famous YouTuber, Review Bra, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, I'm actually triggered. I'm triggered. Mm. Guys, the six last six minutes didn't exist. It ended with with Nariyuki talking to Kirisu Sensei and explaining why he became why he's choosing the university of his choice and that's it that's it that that's how the show ends don't watch past the credits you're good you're done that is it stop after stop it once the credits roll you're not wasting anything you're not losing anything in fact you are gaining more by not watching it which is a contradiction i know but trust me stop what you're doing read the manga
done. You're you're good. I'm pretty sure you can find out where the manga is, um, based off or where the anime ends. Uh, not including the last six minutes, based off of where the festival ends. And yeah, actually, like I said, it is basically shot for shot recreation up until the last point. And then they're like, "Fuck you all! <laughs> We're gonna throw this uncanon fictional ending where Takamoto was the winner when clearly she's not." <laughs> Which is kind of funny, though, because Takamoto was the clear winner uh, for most anime-only viewers um, of the first season. And then, of course, Furuhashi took over in the second season, and Kurusu sensei um, And yeah, I, j I just don't know. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. I never thought I would have actually done a little bit of a review. Um, as a whole, though... If I were to give it a number rating, I don't like to give it a number rating. So I'm just going to give it a uh, yay or nay. Yay. I'll give it a yay. Because I'm not going to make one six-minute scene ruin the entirety of the last two seasons. Because, like I said, the last two seasons, up for this literal last six minutes, was absolutely great. was absolutely great. It was a great show. Um, filled with a lot of great moments. Filled with a lot of laughs. A lot of great scenes between all the girls um made me uh have some doubts that kirisu sensei wasn't the best girl but of course she always was um and i just i just can't like justify this last episode i really hope we get a more of confirmation like explanation on why they did what they did because god knows we need it but anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought of the season finale and from the looks of the series finale of this once great show. Um, I would wholeheartedly recommend this if they didn't watch the last six minutes because the last six minutes literally doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You're not going to spend the entire time um, boosting up Furuhashi, throwing Takamoto to the sideline just for her to win randomly. Ah. <sighs>